What's going on today, everybody? It's late outside, and I've been struggling with this Audi. I finally figured out a K-line problem to actually get the OBD2 connector to work, and I wanted to share it with you guys. This has been bugging me for a while. I haven't been able to put an OBD2 uh, scanner or any type of scan tool to this Audi, and I think I've figured out the problem that a lot of people are gonna have. I've searched online and had lots of questions and been doing this for a while. It's been like a year and I finally think that I figured it out and I really wanna share this with you guys because I hope it'll help you out. So I'm gonna take you over to the car and I'll show you what I've been doing, what's worked, what hasn't, and uh, fill you in with where I'm at. As you can tell, it's nighttime. And I've tried connecting everything to this OBD2 port. Now, I've even put an aftermarket plug on it, thinking it was a plug. I've switched my brown wires around to make sure that those weren't the problem. And what I've actually done is if you trace your OBD2 up, you can find a bunch of wires. Now, before I've done this, I tried disconnecting the radio. So you can't see that at all, but the radio is sitting right there. I've got the radio out and I've got the K-line trying to figure out if the K-line was messed up behind the radio. It wasn't. So I've got something else messing with this K-line. Radio is completely disconnected and the K-line's actually been cut up there behind the radio. But this is what I've done to fix what I have. You wanna check between port seven and four for voltage. Now if it's over 12, it's got power to it. Now I'm running into a situation where I'm getting zero. So what does that mean? That means it's grounded somewhere. So I've got one of my cables up here that's grounding to something and that's not allowing it to uh, connect to my uh, OBD2 scanner. Now one of these is going to be this cable. So what I did is I poked my my or my voltmeter in the back of here in the gray one and found out which cable it was and I forgot already which cable was that cable and I put that one to the side because that one will read nothing um, and then the other one should read a power reading with the keys turned on so we turned the key to the on position red power across these and there's a ground port right here it's really convenient because this is grounding almost everything underneath the dash right here. So check that against that ground. And I found out that this cable, this one cable right here is what's grounding everything and making it impossible for the OBD2 scanner to read. So I've gone ahead and I've disconnected it. And if I go ahead and I take my scanner and I plug my scanner into my OBD2 and I put all my wires together. So if I put all these together here, just real temporarily quick. And then we go to our scan tool and watch our scan tool. Our scan tool connects. Now if I put this one back into here and do it again, let me turn this off. And then we'll try again. And we'll put this ground in here. So I got them all hooked together and we're scanning. And it's struggling to scan things. unable to establish communications. So I've got all of them connected. Now if I go ahead and take the one that I have a problem with, I take that one and I put it aside and I keep all the other ones together and I go and scan again. Now I should be able to connect to the car.
scans faster and we can actually c connect to the car. If I go in and it's an 03 Audi, yes, I can actually get in and see that there's no codes on the car. That's it. One little wire is causing me problems. Now I'm going to check to see if this wire Oh, I done it. I'm going to check to see if what this wire is connected to. And I don't know if it's the radio or not, but we'll see by checking the ohm resistance if this is connected to the radio or not. So, anyway, I've got at least these other modules that I can check with my scan tools minus this one. So, that's huge that I can actually connect to stuff and actually see what's going on. And if I use my better scanner I could probably figure out which module I can't read based off of that scanner because this one just tells me what my um, uh, check engine lights are saying so we'll try the other scanner and get it on here and see what is the problem well there it is about a year of frustration gone down with just one little cable one cable that's grounding itself causing the whole car to freak out. I hope that this helps you guys out. If it does, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, hope you have a fantastic day. If this helps you out, leave a comment below. I want to know if this is a problem for you, if you're having one that's grounding or not. Remember, if it's getting, if number seven and four are getting positive voltage, that means you're getting voltage into it. And it's going to be a lot harder to check. But if you're getting zero voltage between seven and four that means you're grounding you're having a grounding issue so it's a lot easier to check anyways i'm gonna get out of here everyone i hope you enjoy your day i know i am now it's gonna be great because i figured that out take it easy everyone peace good luck